Pals, we're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and I'm gonna tell you why it is probably one of my favorite resorts on Disney property or at least it makes the short list. It is amazing, but I'm gonna tell you, is it worth the money? Is it something that should be on your favorite list? Is it somewhere that your family should stay? And maybe you should just make a day trip here. I'm gonna show you all around the resorts, tell you all the pros of staying at this resort, plus maybe a few cons, stick with me. Well, if you're new to our world, I'm Jordan and this is Together We Vacation and I'm here to help you have the most magical vacation on earth. And how am I going to do that? Well, I used to be a Disney cast member and now I am a Disney homeschooling mom and I've taken my kids to Disney World over a hundred times and I want to help you have the best time ever. And so if you have any questions, you can always drop them down in the comments, but it's best to go ahead and just schedule a call with me. I can give you some personalized tips and tricks and I can help you have the most magical vacation on earth. If you are new, go ahead and comment new down in the comments and I can welcome you to our community. And if you are already a part of our world, welcome back pal. Glad you're here. Okay, so today we are just visiting the Jumbo House. There is another section of the Animal Kingdom Lodge, and that is the Kadani Village with the villas. It's beautiful. We will explore that on a different day. I will do some comparisons and all of the pros and cons of each. Now, this is a beautiful resort. Now, we all know that Disney is amazing when it comes to theming, but let me tell you, they outdid themselves here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. It is stunning. It looks like you just walked into Africa. Each and every um, nook and cranny, every detail reminds you of Africa. And even the design itself is inspired by a traditional African kraal, which is a horseshoe um, carved design. And it helps you view the savannas. And that is what Animal Kingdom Lodge is known for. It has over 200 animals that call it home. It is stunning. Now today we are here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge to get some food, enjoy the atmosphere, and to get information for you to help you plan your next Disney vacation. But it is also a part of our month at Disney Adventure where we are going to the Disney parks and resorts almost every day this month. There are a couple of days that we were sick or we went to another resort in the Orlando area. And you have to admit, we only made it to the lobby so far. We haven't even seen the animals, the dining, the amenities, the activities that you can do here at the lodge, and it is already amazing. So I have to say the most unique experience here at the lodge is of course, getting to see the animals. When you wake up in the morning, you have the opportunity to stay in a savannah facing room, which is one of these rooms that you just saw. More on that later, but let's look a little bit more inside the resort. So something you might miss if you're not looking carefully is that there is one of the largest collections of African art in the United States here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. And as Disney homeschoolers or homeschoolers in general, looking to find learning in every opportunity, every experience, everything that we do together as a family, we build memories and learn through what we experience. So we absolutely adore this. Okay, we are about to get to one of my favorite parts which is the animals and the amenities and all the different activities but before I do I want to make sure that you know about our giveaway we are going to be giving away some magic mail with some Disney merchandise and some goodies and I just want to celebrate the fact that you are here and thank you for being here so I'm going to be sending that out to one person so go down and check the description box below to find out how to enter wouldn't be the Animal Kingdom Lodge without animals, right? You can hear the flamingos right behind me. And that is only one of the amazing animals that you will see here at the lodge. You can even open your door in the morning and out of your window, you can be almost eye to eye to a giraffe. That happened to me. I had a core memory moment. So I have a special place in my heart for the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I came here when I was a kid and I was about 10 years old and my parents actually surprised me when, um, we came to Disney. We drove all the way from Georgia and I was still surprised when I opened up the car van and we were at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think that's a core memory. I will never ever forget it. And I'm pretty sure it's worthy of a Disney commercial if it wasn't for the home video quality of it. So we are in the Overlook and just right there, probably maybe 30 feet away is a giraffe! A giraffe is eating at an enrichment um, feeder. Um, they look like they have 
hung up some of their favorite foods and it is so beautiful. Um, this is just a highlight of staying here. You get to be up close and personal with the animals a lot longer than you would if you were on a safari at Animal Kingdom, for example. Now, there are no guarantees, of course, but the keepers are pretty strategic um, in how they place the animals' food, their brows, the things that they are gonna be feeding on throughout the day, especially during these cooler months. They do make sure that they get to put them as close as possible to the guests and encourage them, almost entice them to do so. Now, as a former animal educator here at Disney World and as someone who has taken care of giraffes personally, um, and let me tell you, their tongues tickle. Um, I love taking care of animals and I love working with them and teaching about them. I actually still teach about animals via my online courses on OutSchool if you would like to check that out. It is just for kids age 10 to 12 usually is my wheelhouse. So if you would like to check that out, it's in the description box below, but no pressure, of course. I did shorten the amount of animal footage that I got because I got quite a bit, but I assume you don't want to see all of it. If I'm wrong, be sure to correct me in the comments, but I want to be as helpful as I can here on this channel and everywhere else. So you let me know what you need and I'll do my best to help. Hey pal, so we're on an overlook and this is an area where you can come and just look out onto the savannah and view the animals. It's amazing. It's such a peaceful experience. So this is one of many outlooks. It is one of my absolute favorites, but that's because it is secluded and usually people don't actually recognize that it is there. And if you go on the second floor, kind of off to the right from the main lobby, you will be able to find it. This is actually super special to me because it's pretty close to the room that we had as kids and it just brings back such great memories. Okay, so we are looking out onto the savanna. Um, you can see sable antelope, zebras, and a giraffe out there right now. It's really cool. Um, they have these really cute kid-sized rocking chairs, and we're having a snack. Um, it's just a beautiful day, and we're enjoying it. So here's another view right on the sides of the lobby. If you go out, there are two, one on each side, um, outlooks that you'll be able to see the savanna with such a great view. Um, you can also see all of the different rooms that are savannah facing. And here is another outlook where you will be able to see um, a different view of the savannah. There were no animals out today at this time of the day, but here are another example of what a savannah facing room might look like. Okay, so I think we've already hit some major pros for the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I don't know about you, but that really immersive theming with that authentic African art is a huge selling point for me, not to mention those amazing animals that you get to see, sometimes from right outside your window. Now, before we get into the amenities, the activities, the things that, that you can enjoy here at the resort, especially that dining, um, you'll get to see us eating one of my favorite things to eat at the Disney resorts in general today. Um, and then we'll get to some of the cons, of course. But the other major pro here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge is that it is a deluxe resort. Now, that encompasses a lot of things. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out. Okay, so one of the amazing amenities here at the Jumbo House um, at the Animal Kingdom Lodge is that there is an amazing pool. And not only do you get the one really cool pool with the slide and the theming and it's just gorgeous, but you also get a hot tub and you get a little kiddie pool that's just perfect for those um, little toddlers that need to get their feet wet, get a little bit cooler. Now Disney goes above and beyond when it comes to recreation and they have cast members specifically on site for you to entertain you while at the resort. I mean, come on, who needs to be entertained? But they have them there anyway so that you can have the most magical experience ever. Now, while the specific recreation activities might vary slightly, some things are fairly consistent. I'll tell you about those in just a second after my girls get a little play in. If you're coming to Animal Kingdom Lodge and you are with your kiddos, if you have anyone from like age two all the way to age like 10, maybe 12, they're going to love the playground. Now, this is right beside the main pool and it's mostly shaded. It is themed for the Animal Kingdom Lodge and it is a wonderful place for them to get out some energy, to play on your resort day, or even just um, in between naps if one of them's napping in the room and you want to come have some of your bigger kids that don't nap anymore play, this is a great way to do it. Now we are a homeschooling family and we take our activities and learning opportunities with us wherever we go. These are some things that I've made for my daughter. Um, we are doing pre-K at Disney, so here we are 
doing a little bit of that while we take a break from some of the fun. If you would like to learn more about it, you can check out The Most Magical Homeschool on Earth. Now let's talk a little bit more about those recreational opportunities we talked about. There is an arcade. You want to check it out? And you can go to Simba's Clubhouse. This is for littles. There is also a great marketplace where you can go get some of your essentials as well as souvenirs. Um, it wouldn't be a theme park, right, if they did not have souvenir opportunities. However, as per Disney standard, everything is themed, which of course is really cool in my book. And you can get some of your basic amenities that you might have forgotten, some snacks, food here in the marketplace. However, I highly suggest just making a grocery order and having it delivered to your resort. It is much better value and you'll be able to bring in those snacks into the park, which is something that I highly recommend. Now we are about to talk about my second favorite thing here at the resort, which is the dining opportunities, whether you are staying here or whether you are just coming for a visit specifically to come eat at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. But before I do that, I did promise you a con. Now, this is probably the only con that I can think of here at the resort. It is one of the farthest resorts away from the parks so you will have to take a bus or a minivan or an uber or drive your car to get to the actual theme parks and a lot of the other deluxe resorts have other opportunities for how to get to the theme parks whether it is a watercraft or you are taking the skyliner etc um so this is not an option now already this video is getting really long, so I'm going to cut it a little short. I just want to mention that Boma is the best place to eat, period, on Disney property. It is so amazing. I've eaten there. I, I can't even count the number of times. The next time I go, I will make content for it. So I will make a specific video all about the dining options here at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. And until then... So if you're staying in the Jamba House at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, then you can come to the Mara in the morning, afternoon, evening, if you want to get snacks or if you need any kind of food. So you'll have your quick service type food here. Um, and the options are really yummy. I highly suggest a Mickey waffle. If you are staying on property, you have to have a Mickey yeah. waffle at least once. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey pal, so what do you think? Is the Animal Kingdom Lodge a place that you would want to visit? Is it where you would choose for your family to stay? Um, or do you have a different preference? I'd love to find out in the comments, maybe what's holding you back or even what questions you might have. I'd love to schedule a call with you. You can check in the description box below and we can chat about what can happen to make your most magical vacation come true. It's going to be a wonderful adventure for you and your family and I look forward to talking with you soon. And remember pals, we are at the parks multiple times a week. Um, I used to be a cast member, so I know all the Disney tips and tricks and now I've taken my kids to the parks over a hundred times. So if you have any Disney questions, you know where to go. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a video. Like this video if it was helpful to you and send it to a friend, maybe um, a spouse and be like, hint, hint, this is where we should go next. <laughs>